Good morning and it's Tuesday again. My name is Marie Nugent and my business is called Time to Sparkle and Shine. Um, and at the moment I'm doing a series of um, chats with amazing women that have got superpowers. Really, that's the best way to describe it. Um, I have, um, I work with amazing women myself, women that are born to stand out, that are born to lead um, and uh, they fill my heart with joy, their bravery, um, and all the the um, their their ability to see the world. Oh, hi, Marie. And here's one of them. Yay! <laughs> hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm great, and welcome on this Tuesday morning. Thank you very much for having me. Loving to be connecting with you. To yeah, be honest. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's. I think it's really important that you know that that women in particular are aware that there are so many powerful women out there with unique abilities that they can go to. What depending on what it is that they're actually doing in life. And, and actually, before I go, because I've never mentioned it in any one of my videos, but I do a, a circle support on a Monday morning, basically for women that really want to come and energize, plug in their energy to their energy board and supercharge their week. Um, and it's from 10 to 11. So contact me if you want to do that. So back to Sharon. Sharon, you have been um, I've been seeing you because you do Facebook lives. Um, I do. Uh, on a. Um, Every morning, actually, which is so, so powerful because I've tuned in and really in, in the case of like 10 or 15 minutes, you can transform an energy that, you know, and clear stuff for anybody yeah. that wants to come in. Um, and if you're looking to contact Sharon, it's um, Living Uniquely You with Sharon Brown. But anyway, we're going to go pr prior to that. So you're um, your wife and mom. Yeah, we're two boys. <laughs> And and when did you were you always did you always know that you had abilities you know or or like were they there in the background or was this something that sort of gradually came on as 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 the years as as the experiences that you experienced added to your arsenal of weapons? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you said arsenal of weapons. Um, yeah, um, I always had. Um, I always had the awareness of spirit as a child. And then I, around about six, I stopped. Okay. I got, kind of got afraid. Yeah. I think it was around about six. Then, um, but I, I always had, a, I had a fascination with the paranormal. I love yeah. the paranormal activity. Love, used to go to mediums and tarot cards and all that throughout the years. Yeah. And then in 2000 and, what was that, 2005, yeah, I fell in work and that just literally upended my world. I, w I worked full time. I loved my job. I was working for the company. I think I worked for 25 years service, just loved it. Yeah. And um, no, I was told I w then through, through years of going down the medical profession and trying to get myself better, trying to I had a small. My youngest was only, I think. Two at the time I fell and by the time I um. Mm -hmm. I think it was three years I ended up going around the medical profession. Yeah. And I was told one day, I'll never forget, I was in the pain clinic in the matter private and I was basically told, Sharon, yes. you will never work again. My goodness. Yeah, I well, was taught. And, and I think that for you, you know, that's a lesson for anybody to learn that, you know, that you don't take what you're told as gospel. You know, no. it, it can be no. your catalyst to, to change things, to make things happen in your world. So for you, that was your catalyst. And I think, you know, because of the fact that you were so in tune with the spirits and you'd sort of, you were aware of them. And can I ask you, when you went to the, like, if you were going to mediums and things like that, were you picking up and saying, I could do that? I, you know, they always told me that. They <laughs> always told me, you can sit here and do exactly what I'm doing. I, I, yeah, whatever. And I just go on. Yeah. And say, but you didn't have faith in it. Yeah. You no, didn't I didn't. No. No. No, I didn't have faith in myself and I didn't have faith in in spirit at that stage. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would have been a very different person back then. Yeah. And do you know, because that, that's something as well that when we're meant to go in a direction um, and we're not actually following or listening, <laughs> the 
something will happen in our lives to make us stop and say, you know, and re-examine our lives. And I think for you, you know, there was huge, you know, okay, what you went through was terrible, but there was huge, it was a huge catalyst for you to change the way you looked at your life, to, to you went exploring, you know, because yeah. you were now open to the possibility yeah. as before, it was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Now it was like, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's out there. How can I help myself? That was it. Because then I start a friend of mine. I was out with a friend of mine. She was talking about angels and I went, oh yeah, your guardian angel. Okay, I'll tap into my guardian angel, start opening myself up to that. And then I I went for a Reiki treatment and then that was, yeah. that was me. We talked. Yeah. And, and you're, because I, Reiki was my first um, and I think it's, you know, for women that are searching from an energetic point of view that feel that draw, Reiki is the one that attracts them first because, yeah. they, you know, there's something that they can follow through and, and that they can um, they can work with. Um, and it's almost like when, once you open that door, then it's like, oh, my God, there's so many, so many other possibilities here, you know, that are available to me that, you know, that I can feel drawn to. Um, and it's almost like there's a magnetic pull that then once you once you link in it's like it, it's you're flowing along with the river so you are so for you reiki was and, and you, you were you worked then um because not only did it work on yourself and that's another thing i think that you should always pick something that you're going to that's going to benefit you that when it benefits you then you're coming from that authentic place and say this worked for me i can now work with it to help it you know work for you that was my first, that, that was why I went to do um, Reiki 1, was yeah. to work on me. I went, right, okay, we'll try this. I can't lose anything. I'm on X amount of tablets a day. I'm not living a life. Yeah. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do the other. Yeah. And um, it was, yeah, Reiki 1 opened me up to the self-healing. Yeah. So I literally went on that road to self-heal and then over a matter of weeks I could see the difference. Then I took myself off all the medication. When to then I was get I had full movement in my arm. Wow. Like I have full movement. Like I, I I would class myself as having nothing wrong with me now. <laughs> Thank yeah. God. You're a miracle, Sharon, so you are. Yeah. <laughs> well that's it. Like because I went from chronic pain, because that's yeah. what I was told I had. There was nothing they could do. Yeah. To a whole 360. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be lovely to see it as part of the health service that you had this holistic side that the two could marry together, you know, in supporting yeah. um, mind, body and spirit because it's something that's totally overlooked. And, um, you know, they, they go on about, you know, okay, there's a threat to the body at the moment. And then it's like, because of that, then there's a knock-on effect with people's mental health. And they're totally, you know, bypassing the part of it that you know are in our guidance are, are you know the spirit that's within us that yeah. we we because of all the other things that we're listening to that we're not actually tuning into and that's why it's so powerful for us as women to be tuning into yeah. this now to use this time to allow to connect with ourselves but you you also had like because during the time then your dad was sick wasn't he or, or, yeah, my dad, was the I get it. of that you know when that happened um I start opening up to back open up, I suppose, because um, in 2009, I done my first Reiki. Okay. To first Reiki, Reiki one. Okay. And I think it was like, I was like a sponge. I want it and I want it now. Yeah. And then I went on to do my master's and my then I done, I done the SACEM. And I was running a, a nice little healing business and yeah. I was doing great. And then my dad got sick probably about eight years ago. So okay. I gave it all up. I yeah. literally, he was my priority and yeah, I do it again. No yeah, problem. Of course. Absolutely. Um, As somebody who, and, yeah. Because I know like for my own dad, you know, from the time he was diagnosed and, 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 and he died, if, if I hadn't allowed myself to spend time and space, yeah. you know, because you were, you were supporting him. And in a way, he yeah. was supporting you. So, you know, there was that whole relationship of, of and there's something about the gift of a final journey as well, isn't there? You oh, know? there is, yeah. When I went on to do my shamanics, I seen the whole thing very, very differently. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you, you yeah. were looking at you. St so you you gave everything up then, and so your dad was yeah. basically your priority for for the number yeah. of years that. So, yeah. yeah, for I think I was looking at from maybe three, three and a half, four years, yeah. whatever it was. Well, then he passed um, six years ago. Okay. And it was like, right, I have all this time on my hands now. What am I going to do? Yeah. Do you find? Um, did you find Sharon uh, that the um, the fact of the doing the energetic work when it came time for letting him go that that actually helped you a lot because you oh, were aware, so, so. yeah because you were aware that he yeah. wasn't truly gone like his body was yeah. gone but yeah. you you were aware that he was still there in spirit yeah oh definitely yeah because my mom had passed twenty one years prior uh, previous. Okay. And it was a whole different dy dynamic that my mum had to my, yeah. to my dad passing. There was much more acceptance when my dad died to when my yeah. mum passed. Yeah. It was very, very differently. And it is true, the energetic work. Yeah. Because yeah. you see it very differently. Yeah, yeah. And you see passing and death very, di very different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I can, I still I talk to both of them every day as if they're if they're sitting here having a cup of tea with me. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't that lovely? You know that, yeah. that whole thing because you still feel, you know, it's not that. I mean, there's the physical loss because you know, yeah. and that's a natural process. But then there's the also the awareness of, you know, of their energy and how much how much in a better place they are, how much more yeah. powerful they feel and how much more at peace and, and, and the, the fact that their suffering is over, you know, and that they yeah. that they are in a better place. Oh, very much so, yeah. They are they're having a great time up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So after your dad died then, what what because you were saying now suddenly, you know, a nature of abhors a vacuum. So it's like you've all this yeah. space. It's like, okay, now what do I do? What do I do? And I went, right, okay, I'm going back into my healing business. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, I was doing a little bit of Reiki here and there, but I wasn't settling into it the way I had settled Before, in. Yeah. I knew there was more. Yeah. yeah. So I then I found, um, as a lot of, the women would know that would probably be watching this Ashing Mooney. Yeah, yeah, Ashling and her angels. Yes. Yeah, and her angels. So mm -hmm. I would have, she would have been launching. I think it was Mastery of Metatron at the time. Okay. And I hopped onto that. No clue what I was doing. All I knew was I, I had to call with Ashling, and she said yeah, and I went right. Okay, I really want to develop this. Yeah. So right, okay. So she was basically. Opening me up to more. Yeah. Yeah. And then through Ashling, I had the lovely spirit animal guides come in. Okay. And can you tell us about that? Because that, that happened in um, in a session that you were having that, yeah. you know, that Ashling was there. Um, so just describe, you know, I know you were saying, it's like, the, oh, yeah, yeah, the spirit animals come in. But it was a little bit more than that, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> As they say, they opened me up to the madness of it all. Yeah, I, we were sitting in, uh, we were having a retreat. Um, there was myself, two other girls and Ashling, and we were sitting in the room. We're having a great time. And she was saying about our gifts and the ladies were doing their stuff and said, now, Sharon, it's your time. And I went, oh, OK. And I said, well, I can heal you is all. I said, that's all. She says, she says, no, Sharon. She said, there's something more to you because I have this fondness for animals. I just love yeah. animals. Yeah. I just want to pick them up and snuggle them. Yeah. And I just have a love. I'd rather, to, my husband is laughing and say, Sharon, you'd rather talk to the dog than you talk to me. <laughs> I, know. I know the dog's names when I'm out walking. I don't know the people that are walking the dogs. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, I was sitting there and she says, well, look at me. And I, so I was looking at her and she says, well, what, what do you see? Or what you saying that next minute I could see her literally morphing into this amazing butterfly before mm -hmm. me. I think my eyes were nearly, you know, that cartoon where the I eyes are talked. now there. <laughs> I'm kind of like going, am I seeing this? No, I'm mad. I, mm -hmm. I, and the new by me face, I go, no, I, I'm not seeing. She said, what are you seeing? So I says, I'm seeing you turning into this beautiful butterfly. And I went, Right, okay. And my heart's pounding out, my chest nearly going, Am I really seeing this? Yeah. And um she says to me, Well, 
I said, oh my God. I said, so I explained to her what I've seen. And she said to me, well, what does it want to tell me? So I went off giving her this whole message yeah. about what she needed to do, what she wanted, a bit of guidance. And that was Grant. And I went, yeah. oh my God, that's mental. That's mad. And yeah. she goes, now do it for, I think it was Neve was there. Now do it for Neve. And I went, what? She said, no, do it again. Yeah. So next thing I seen her turn into this amazing peacock, gave her a whole message. Then it was Deirdre and she turned into this beautiful bear and gave her a whole message. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Did this really happen? <laughs> yeah. And not once, but three times. <laughs> yeah. So that was grand. I came home and I was happy, delighted. I rang my friend on the way home, high as a kite, waiting to tell you what's after happening. Oh my God. You know, you know, you go yeah, that yeah. Run. Excited, yeah. the excitement of it all. And then I got home and we were sitting at the kitchen table and I was telling my husband and he's looking at me going, oh yeah, right, Jeremy, yeah, yeah, you know yourself. I was eating our dinner and we're all sitting down having our dinner. I could see my family, my two sons turning into their spare animal guides and my husband <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, is she going to joke on my dinner? <laughs> I didn't leave it behind, I brought it with me. <laughs> yeah. and I was, oh my God, this is how I went back into the retreat the next day. I was telling them all that was happening. I was saying, oh my God, this is amazing. So yeah, but it took me a whole year to yeah. fully, fully embody that properly. Yeah. And it's mostly about confidence, confidence yeah. in you and confidence in your ability. And I think that's one thing, you know, when I'm working with women, it's that confidence can actually be learned. You know, the more often you do things, the more yeah. you get in tune with it and the more confident you become. And that's basically what you were doing. You were embodying yeah. that, you know, you were embodying what it is that you had learned um, and you were beginning to trust it more as well, trusting yeah. you in your abilities. Yeah. And then they were coming in through my healing. So they'd come in through me and basically take me over where I remember having um, working with a client and I had these beautiful, amazing wings. I was an eagle. I could feel my face turning into the beak. Then yeah. I had a bear and I had claws. And yeah, I, yeah it was all starting to really, and they were shape shifting through me and, yeah, and then I launched, what was it? Um, I think it was Healing Through the Spirit Animal Guides. I, I'm not 100% sure. A mini thing where you've done three or four healing sessions with the Spirit Animal Guides, and that really, really helped me step out. Yeah. And do, does everybody have more than, does everybody, everybody has one, but do they have yeah. more than one then, Sharon? Yeah, they're like our angels. Okay. So they, depending so, on what it is you need, that, that energy comes in to, yeah. to, to support yeah. you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, but, you, but like the angels, you have to ask them to come in. It's yes, spiritual law. They yeah. can't step in. Yeah. Cool. You have yeah. to ask them to come in. Like, they are coming, they, they're constantly around us. Yeah. Constantly around us. They're like our angels. They're, they're with us all the time. So you call the bear in for a bit of courage, a wolf in for protection, the lion if you want to really push yourself out there. So when you were looking at Ashling and she was morphing into um, into a butterfly, that was that was her transformation that was taking place at that particular moment in time with you guys yeah. together in the retreat. So it was a yeah. time of transformation. So it was symbolic yeah. as well as, you know, you yeah. saw it as, as physical. Oh, that's yeah. that's really lovely. That's, mm. It's such a lovely, um, and, and, you know, because I know you went to, you were talking about the shamanic, and I I think that would have been something that I would have loved to have done. I mean, I really just did a weekend, but I just thought, wow, the power of this and the journeying and, you know, of all mm. of that. So... You're now at the stage where you've set up your your um, your business and you're working with the your spirit guides. So yeah. you obviously didn't stop there. <laughs> no, you didn't. What, what, what was the, you are so talented. <laughs> what, was, what was the next phase then to, that you went on to? Uh, the next phase, I think, I I went and I was doing a mediumship um, course. Um, yeah, I was doing a mediumship course. Then I stepped into the shamanics, yeah. the shamanic um, things, which I love. The, the I drama is like the, to me. Here. Sorry, before you go, the, the, the mediumship, you were already it, the ability to channel. So yeah. what were you hoping to get from the mediumship 
part of things. Um, just to develop myself more and trust myself more with, with the yeah. I was I wanted it all and I wanted it now. If that makes sense. Oh, to totally. You. I'm there with yeah. you, girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like at one stage. I think I was doing a course every second weekend. Yeah, yeah, and that's really funny because you're you're absolutely right. When you there's there, it, there's an ex, uh, there's such an excitement when you get into this field of work and you've got it's like a, you've got a, a table full of a feast and you're trying to say I'll try a bit of this and I'll try a bit of this. And I try a bit of that, and and you do, and you get to a certain stage, then where it's like, it's not that you're learn, you're not really learning so much more, or is that you instinctively know what it is yeah. that you're being taught, and that's the stage then where you actually go and use it or start teaching it. So, yeah. you you did the mediumship, and then what happened then? What was the next evolution part of it then? Um, was my shamanic, shamanic journey. Okay. Yeah, I went on a year course. Um, doing my shamanic journey yeah, yeah. that i done so much healing so much stuff through that yeah that yeah. was amazing so when you're talking about healing um because shamanic is very earthed and grounded and you know particularly in ireland we've such a sense of um you know we've been occupied um loss loss of power yeah. you know there's a huge amount of that that you know that's in the earth and in the psyche and it's part of what's mm. coming up for being healed at the moment so where was i going with that question but you, for you were you aware of were you aware of the earth or aware of the people or was it just an energy that was coming up you know because it's what is activated within us you know, that part of us that we need to heal. So I suppose I'm asking you, like, what part of it you was was healed or, you know, that you released through your shamanic journey? Um, I've done an awful lot of ancestral healing through my shamanics. Yeah. You, ancestral yeah. healing. I done, I remember, I I think it was the second or the third weekend in, I'll never forget it, I done the ancestral healing yeah. through that. I needn't tell you, I was floored for about a month. Yeah. Totally, totally powerful. And, and and it's something that I am totally aware of as well, that a lot of the work that we're doing here at the, mo at the moment is in us standing up and doing what it is that we do. We're not only, we are healing ourselves because we're empowering ourselves and empowering mm -hmm. ourselves, we're healing ourselves. But a lot of it is because we're doing this because generations before couldn't do it. They weren't in the place, yeah. they didn't, nor did they have the tools, but they also didn't, you know, they didn't have the power you know, they didn't, they weren't allowed the awareness because everything was, con, you know, cur curtailed and, and boxed in and, you know, yeah. into rigid rules and behavior and, and what it is you could and couldn't do. So extremely controlled. So it's like we're out of the box now. <laughs> it's like we're not going back in again. Yeah. yeah and I like you're talking about that there now. I literally came back last week. I was in Kerry. Yeah, I was in Clarny with good friends of mine. We were doing healing on the land down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was very powerful for the four of us to get together. Yeah, and we being we were called to come together to do it. Yeah, and it was all to do with the conditioning, the sadness, all mm. the stuff that is literally being bombarded to us, especially to, through our energy as being Irish. Yeah, because totally. we've been occupied for nearly eons at yeah. this stage yeah so you have a lot of that a lot of control that are is in the irish psyche so we were together and you're uh, funny you're talking about that because that's what i was doing last week yeah yeah and that doesn't surprise me at all and and you know there's the whole thing about the land but there's also from an ancestral stuff as to what we as women are are rediscovering within ourselves that um, it, it, you know, reactivating what it is to be a woman, what it is to be powerful, what it is to be empathic, understanding, collaborative, mm -hmm. uh, supportive, like all of these energies that are coming in. That you know, we want we what we're doing is to be the beacon so that women will come to us so yeah. that they can activate in them their own innate abilities. And yeah. they, you know, when they do that, then they're not only doing it for themselves, but, you know, it, it'll have a knock on effect on their families and on their towns and their villages and their cities and their, you know, and the mm -hmm. countries. And, and that's hugely important because um, it's, 
part of the evolution of we what we as women are going through uh, and it's yeah. necessary for us because we're you know we're no longer in the box so we're not we're out of the box but Jamie's out you can't go back in again no and no, no, we, none of us will ever go back in again no no never I wouldn't go back, go back to where I was 15 16 years ago not on your Nelly would I go back to it yeah it, it's so much so much you know the 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 experiences that we go through and the realizations that we've come to and the energy that we've tapped into uh, fuel us moving us forward and it's like you have your own specific approach um, Sharon and I have a, a different approach but where all the approaches are the same and it's all about empowerment and yeah. healing and releasing um, and letting go so that we have that innate ability then to attract in better more powerful um, more intuitive because if we're to survive as, as a species then you know we need to be using our intuition we need to be using our guidance we need to be using that, that you know our own innate sat nav that we have within us and everybody has one but you know it's a lot of the time that you're not taught to trust it or to even realize that it's there and, and that's probably the first link in anything that you do is to connect with yourself and, and, you, and the, your divine guidance so we're not finished yet <laughs> so, <laughs> so after the so you've done your shamanic then for a year yeah. and obviously because that's a hugely powerful grounding energy to work with. Um, so then you expanded out into, well, was there something else that came after that? Because before we go into the galaxies. Um, I know, I, when, then I went to work with actually Marcia O'Regan. Yeah. I was doing Marcy, work with Marcia O'Regan. Yeah, Marcia yeah. is phenomenal, so she is. Yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing lady. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I did, I was at work with her, and then of course the Galactics came. Okay, so that that was, and what was that like? What was your first inkling that, you know, that you were going beyond this world and the awareness that's here, and that you were going out into, you were going into universal, and and, uh, you know, and what's that like? So for 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 people that don't know, like when you're talking about universal, you're talking about different galaxies. Um, and can you name some of them? Some people might be aware of it. Or some, yeah. Palladians, Octurians, um, Lemurians. Yeah. Lemurians. Yeah. Oh, there's so many of them out there. Yeah. That, like, there, there's Minotaurs, there's numerous amounts of them out there. Yeah. And what was your, when you, so can you remember the first time then that you were sitting, you know, you were sitting there and you said, okay, I'm opening up. Um, and, and what came in and how did you know that it was different, like the, the message that came through for you? I watched um, a video. I was actually in Brussels on a retreat. Saying, there you go, another retreat <laughs> with Marcia yeah. O'Regan. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. And well, um, Marcia O'Regan and Irene Nash. Yeah. Myself, and um, myself and Irene were uh, watching... Um, Watching some a client of mine had said to me, "Look at this chap. He talks this light language, Sharon. I'm telling you now, you're going to love it. It's yeah. your magic." Yeah. His name was Martin McNichol. And mm -hmm. um, I went right, okay. So I, we, myself and I, I says, "Irene, I'm after being told to watch this." Blah blah blah. I says, "Come on, we'll watch it and we'll see what the story is." So I was watching. I was like, "Oh my god, this is mad stuff." <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is another level of madness. I thought yeah. me animals were mad, but this is mad. But the minute I watched it, I could feel this thing in my throat. Yeah. I went, oh my God. It's like, you know, when you have something stuck and you can't get it out. Yeah. It was like that. Yeah. So I I just left it and I said, right, okay, I'll just leave it. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's a block or something. I said, I don't know what it is. So I then I could feel it every so often trying to come out, but I hadn't got the, um, I suppose I hadn't got the trust or the confidence yeah. in myself to let it out. But anyway, Martin McNichol ended up being over here doing a workshop. Okay. So I attended the workshop in the September, I think it was. Yeah. So I sat down with him and um, in the workshop and I said, look, I said, Martin, it's like it's sitting there, but I can't get it out. Yeah. So he sat in front of me and he held in my hands and he said, Sharon, just 
let it out. Yeah. And it just like flowed. Yeah. <laughs> and I went, okay. <laughs> So I just let it flow and let it flow. And then he said, just practice over the next couple of days and keep practicing and keep practicing. So when I was out walking the dog, I used to let it just go. Yeah. And I didn't want anyone to hear it. I said to think I was mad. Yeah. I said, it was bad enough with me animals. Now yeah. I'm going off on this one, our man journey. So what's going to happen next? So yeah, so I I was letting it develop and um, I joined in his group. So I felt safe because a lot of people in his group spoke it and I was fine mm. and I could really speak it and I was grand and go to the calls and let it out and it was fine. And then one day I was working with a client and it just came out. Yeah. And I went, right, okay, it's out now. There's nothing yeah. I can do. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. I, can I, can't mm. I can't do that. And so then I start bringing it in with my clients uh, on and off. Yeah. And then I think it was... I got the guidance then to do the 12, 12, 12 portal. Not last year, I think the year, about two years ago. And my guidance was I was to run, um, a po I run a portal activation. Uh, we have portals that open to us every month at the first of the first, the second of the second. Gotcha. Towards you, yeah. Go on and on. So I have the ability to bring in the energy. There's a different team for each portal. Um, and it's it's amazing energy that comes in. Yeah. So I got the guidance that I was to do the 12, 12, 12 portal. I was to bring in the light language. And then from the January on, I was to run a membership course of portal activation, to help people basically clear their stuff and come into full alignment with their true divine self. So I said, right, so I put it out as a masterclass and I just let it flow. Yeah. So I was running and I was doing grand and I was running my portal activation, which I still have now, which is great. And um, then I was really starting to embrace the galactics. And I don't I don't channel one. OK. My my cha my energy goes up. It's yeah. like an antenna and it scans the, the scans the galactic airways. Yeah. That's why my light language changes frequency and tones and stuff. I don't just channel one. Whoever's available for me up there, I will bring down. Okay. I, so it's like like turning a... Um, yeah, it's turning the dial on the radio. Changing the radio, frequency. Yeah, 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 I'm the changing channel. frequency constantly, okay. yeah. So when you're, when you're saying like languages, um, what is it that that actually means for people that don't know? Because, yeah... Light language is like it's light codes and frequencies that come into our field and go into our DNA. It's heart coherent. Okay. So your heart will recognize it, but the logic mind won't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The logic mind will not recognize it whatsoever because it's not meant to recognize it. It's heart coherent. It goes down into the DNA, right down into your cellular memory. And it's because we are all star seeds. We do recognize it on some level. Yeah. Yeah. And we recognize we it. We all have our own well. tribe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We all have our own tribe. We all have our own. So you might, people say, oh my God. I, and it's on the physical level, you, you feel it. Yeah. So it really helps shift and move, helps you move forward. Yeah. It's a great, it, it has helped me so much, I have to say. That's and confidence good. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And and because, you know, for a lot of people that are listening, it's not actually going to make sense. So when you no. when you're sitting there during a session and the language comes through you, you don't know what it is that's coming no. in or coming out. Literally. No. no. It, I, pure trust conscious. and pure faith yeah. in them that they give me what I need. Yeah. That's what this, I need can I ask you, that, is this a language that they would, could communicate with each other with? Yeah, yeah, I could sit and talk to somebody that can, uh, which I have done. Okay. I can have a conversation with somebody else. Okay. A light language conversation with somebody else. And that star, star seed of me will know exactly what that person needs. And we'll, we'll communicate like I'm communicating with you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Good. Um, 
So what, uh, so for you then, when you, um, the light codes and the light languages allowed you to connect with with the frequency of the, the galactic. Um, yeah. Uh, and for those that don't know, I know you say there's numerous, but it, are there sort of like a core group? And what do there they is, do? There is core groups around, yes, there is. Um, the Galactic High Council is what would oversee the galactics. Okay. So they are, and then you'll have Commander Ashitar that mm -hmm. will come in. A lot of people know him. He's a, he's of the angelic being. He he oversees an awful lot of our stuff. He is kind of all over Earth to really look after us. Okay, so the, their their remit is to pr to protect us. Like how much? Yeah. How much? Um, I was going to say how much interference, but that's not the right word. How much? On what level do they, um, would they come in, do you know, like for protection or, um, I, I am aware that they're, you know, they're not going to let us to topple over, that, you know, no. but they put supports in. And, and do they send, do they bring in, because the specific people that come in at specific times, so do they, they come from these, they come in to, yeah. to, to say and to speak and to change? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're, they are here to help us. See, they couldn't come in to us until that, well, they have been coming in through that 3D energy. Yeah. Because that 3D energy was so lens, yeah. so low density energy that us as light workers have been fighting through that energy for years. Yeah, yeah. And they've been helping us fight through that energy so we could connect and we could really, really connect in with them. And they have been um, helping us step forward, constantly step forward. Mm -hmm. So, and then they have really, really started connecting with so many people now because we have that age of Aquarius. We have the 5D energy, which our energy has risen. So mm -hmm. as we have go up, we can go up to higher connections. Yeah. Because they are high vibrational beings that are mm -hmm. coming down to us. But um, we weren't ready years ago for them. No. No, and even still, I mean, a lot of what's happening at the moment is actually waking people up. And for those that don't know what 3D, basically 3D is the world where uh, in fear um, at the moment. It's the one that's yeah. in fear and panic and control um, and whatever, whereas the frequency of four and five means that you can rise above it so that when you're yeah. actually looking at the world, you see it from a different perspective uh, and from yeah. a different energetic space. Um, and yeah. it really is, I mean, we all get dragged back into, into 3D, but it gives us the ability to make decisions from a, a different space that's not in fear, but that's more in, in, in energetic support and, you know, that whole thing about collaboration yeah. and um, the women in particular, you know, coming together. And, and it's not surprising. I always think that, you know, it is a great time to be alive, but it's also a great time and space to be in Ireland um, and I think that, you know, even despite what it is that we have, or maybe because of it, you know, because the, the, we have an inherent belief in our DNA, whether we realize it or not, in the magic of the, yeah. you know, the magic of the world that we live in, the magic of the earth um, and fairies or whatever. And that's all been reactivated again. And we're reconnecting with that, whether we realize it or not, on some level. So that that just allows us to change our perspective. And I think it gives us a support that, um, you know, that we can rise quicker, maybe. I, I, I'm not quite sure, but, yeah. the, you know, that the energetic and, and, and it's going to get faster as the energies come in and the more people that tune into it. That's exactly what's happening, because what's happening now is we have all stepped out of that 3D energy, as you're talking about. Yeah, and it, it's we're human. We're going to yep. get pulled back into it. That's OK. Yeah. So. Don't be, as I'd say, if you fall back into it, you fall back into it. But we have a tendency to pop back out of it quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. The more you go into it. And you always know when you're in 3D because you feel it, you feel it in your body. It's like if you're yeah. heavy, you can feel the fear in your gut or whatever. And, and, you know, when you know that, then you have that awareness. And, and then, you know, sometimes we, we stay in it for a while because, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> what it is we've been used to but you do have the about the ability to bounce back quicker yeah we do like i've even i've noticed an awful lot of people and some of my clients that pop into that 3d pop out of it within 
hours now. Yeah. It's where they, you'd be clogging through that density energy for days and That's right. you couldn't get yeah. through it. And you you yeah. were on the low vibration. Now, with the energy that is available to us, yeah. Yeah. we're just popping out in hours. Could, you could, in and out, as I'd yeah. say, just open yeah. the door and walk through it. And, and you're absolutely right. And I think that's where that whole thing of, you know, um, we would have had a big thing about, you know, depression in particularly in Ireland. And it was, I think, it, you know, the realistically it was the people weren't leading lives that they wanted to lead, but they also weren't connected and, or nor did they feel that they had any way of getting out of that 3D energy. They knew there was something more, but they just couldn't, you know, the, the, there weren't the people around to show them how or, you know, to give them the tools that they could actually uh, you know, come out of it, and 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 you know that that's when we that's part of also what it is that we're going to be teaching. You it's like you when you connect yeah. with that, you leave that energy behind. You don't need to hold on to it. You don't need to be. Um, it doesn't need to to dominate your your life. So it doesn't. No. But it is, you know, it's it's just it's remarkable. It's it's like that whole thing. Once you go and start going and looking for something within yourself and that connection. Basically, your your whole world opens up. Yeah, and you're more aware of what's going on. Totally, yeah, yeah. And once you're aware of what's going on, you can do something about it. Totally, absolutely. So, for Sharon Brown, we're up to date now, Sharon, are we? <laughs> yeah, I think you're up to date, yeah, just about. Just about. Um, <laughs> quite, you know, you've quite an eclectic and um, remarkable and magical mix of... Um, it's like you, you. It's like you. You hit the bumper load, <laughs> Sharon. Yeah. But not. But not only that. But it was your willingness to go there and to follow. You know the trust that you, that maybe people, if it had happened before, they said, "Oh, that's stupid. I'm not going to go there," and would have shut themselves down. Um, but you allowed yourself to be supported. Um, supported by the groups that you were in, the people that you associated with. And that's the importance of being surrounded by people that nurture you as opposed to drag you down. Um, and yeah. it's why sometimes in this journey of, and I don't like using the word journey, but it's sometimes in what it is that we're going through that we tend to leave a lot of relationships behind just so that we can allow new, new and more empowered, uh, supportive people come in that see the world and know it as you see it and know it and maybe are a couple of steps ahead of you which is absolutely fantastic and that's just great because in a way we're nearly all just one step ahead you know yeah. <laughs> we're just waiting to step in to to the shoes so if people wanted to get in contact with you um how do they how do they do that <laughs> Um, they can find me either on Instagram or Facebook. Um, Facebook, you'll find me on Living Uniquely You with Sharon Brown. The same on Instagram, I think, yeah. And then I have a YouTube channel, I think. As far as I know, it's just called Sharon Brown. I must okay. actually go in and change that. Yeah. Um, but you will find any lives that I do on Facebook, I upload into it's YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So our, there's always a replay. Yeah. So if you can't get me live, you will always get the replay. I do it Monday to Friday. Yeah. Okay. My weekends are my weekends off. Yeah. But that's the other thing that how important it is to to be to to switch off, because yeah. you know we do need our bodies do need to regenerate and they do yeah. need to rest. Um, and if you keep going twenty four seven, basically you're 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 running your battery down. So for you, you know, the whole thing of you, you need your time off. You need that balance between work and, and rest um, mm -hmm. and creative, you know, so that you can allow new stuff to come in as well. Yeah, well, that's it. I'm in the process of bringing in something new. So um, <laughs> I have a, a few you women um, <laughs> are after texting it for me. So that I'm going to launch that, please God, now in September. It's your Galactic Soul Blueprint. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's, it, it's, it's going to be a subscription or is it going to be a course? No, it's going to be one on ones. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's what it is. It's it's removing your blocks and allowing you to see and realigning you to your true soul's path. Oh, that sounds so exciting. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, yeah. I'm and then, um, one of those. <laughs> yeah. And then um, it's, you know, so it'll be a session with me and then there'll be a 21 day um 
audio that you'll have to listen to for 21 days and then you'll come back to me and then it'll be embodied. Yeah, so it's... So the ladies now that are working have been working on that for me um, as beta testers at the moment. They're getting huge clarity around um, their soul. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to free the soul. So, yeah. 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 I When I was, uh, what came to me as well is that um, when I, you know, put together Time to Sparkle and Shine, it was um, calm the mind, soothe the body, connect to spirit, free the soul. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. they they were the things that you know that came in for me, and um, mm. that you know that you embody, because that's mm. that's your ethos of where it is that you're you know what it is that mm. you're looking for, um, and it's like yeah we're all about you know freeing the soul, freeing it to be the magnificent, freeing you to be the magnificent person that you are. Well, that's it, because we have all come down with a Pacific Soul contract. Yeah. It's just through conditioning and ancestral stuff. We don't even know yeah. half the time what we've come down to. It's only in latter years that we actually find our true soul's calling. No, and, and you're absolutely right, because it was only in later years, because in the, in the younger years you were caught up with, well, for me it was caught up with work and family, and, yeah. and for me it was travel. Um, with the family so it was only in in later years you know probably in the last 15 years that it's almost like I gave myself permission to, yeah. to actually start exploring that aspect of myself um, and it really is an exciting time an exciting place to be when you do start exploring because literally the world is your oyster and your galaxies now are your oyster because it's expanded beyond the world yeah it, it is like because there's so much out there for us. Yeah. There's so much. I only spoke about this on my live this morning. We have infinite possibilities. Yeah, totally. Out there. It's up to us to go and get it. Yeah. The only person that's stopping us from getting it is ourselves. Yeah, yeah. True conditioning, true fear, true all the other BS that we tell ourselves on a yeah. daily basis. So it's time to really go in, as I was saying to them this morning, go in, see what we're see what we are holding on to. And if it's a different level, yeah. Just go in, go in deep mm. and let it go. Because yeah. it can be that easy if we allow it be that easy. And you're right. It is it it sounds complicated. It's a bit like taking that leap of faith or, you know, going, even it doesn't even have to be a leap of faith. It's just literally just taking that step. But it's that step that puts you in alignment. And you think the fear that comes up in just taking that step. But usually when you get into it, it's not as bad as you think it is. And the more confidence that you go in yourself and your abilities, um, your innate abilities, you know, your intuition, your insights, your understandings, the, the messages that come through and learning to trust that, that you can pass on to the people, the women in particular that you're working with, because, um, you know, that there, there's so much healing that needs to take place because this is centuries of stuff that, you know, that we're helping to overcome. So it's not going to take place. And in a way, you know, sort of, I feel we're almost like bridges between the past and the future, but that in, in us giving ourselves permission, and, you know, because I would come from a generation that was probably the most programmed, you know, mm. so for me to develop the ability to see the world so differently from everybody else, that means that anybody can do it. And for me to know that the women that I work with were always meant to stand out they were always meant to be different but that they may not actually realize it but that they know and sense and feel that there's more to the world than the one they're living in because that was my experience and if yeah. i didn't follow that then i wouldn't be here and if you didn't follow what you did you would also wouldn't be here and we would not be connecting no and that's it because we have to follow yeah. the intuition we have to follow the hits and the, yeah. that we're getting yeah if we Sit and listen, like people say to me, but like, as I say, I can't meditate. If I meditate, I fall asleep. So I don't, I don't bother. Yeah. Yeah. And if I want to go for a good hour of sleep and I'll, I'll meditate or whatever, I get a lot of my stuff out when I'm walking the dog. Okay. I, and and that's the whole thing, You because of the shamanic stuff as well, the fact that you're out of nature or, the, you know, that you're grounded as well, so that what comes in is not going out. <laughs> you know, it's like it's no. coming in and it's landing with you. Yeah. 
so like meditation doesn't mean lying down for an hour and connecting it's whatever meditation means to you exactly. whatever feels you whatever fe feels your soul whatever feeds your soul is what yeah. you should do not what the girl down the road says she does or the man down the road says he does you are unique mm -hmm. to yourself Absolutely. And that's why, you know, when I put together this, as I said earlier on, when I put together this series, um, there are so many women out there with so many unique abilities to go to the person that actually resonates with you because they're yeah. the ones that you start with there. And, and yeah. then the world, the universe is yours. We're going to have to ch start changing the, the world's your oyster into the universe. Is, the galaxy is your oyster. It galaxy, just becomes the universe. Your it's yeah, all out there waiting for us. It's it is. all out there waiting for us. It's just for us to go and get it. Have the confidence and the willingness to go and get it. What worked yeah. for you yesterday is not going to work for you today. Yeah, totally. We are constantly changing. Constantly yeah. changing. We see things very, very differently from day to day, especially in this business. Yeah, yeah. When you're living in this oneness, in, in this unique way of living it is yeah we see things very very differently like to the man down the road we would look at life totally different i totally agree with I you i think i'm mad i might think he's mad that's his perce perception yeah. that's my perception i don't step into that yeah and i think the, that something that needs to be developed as well is a respect for each other's perspective and um point of view and, and it's not just you know, for, on, on beliefs, I, there's a whole, there's a whole plethora of issues that, you know, we need to be embodying that respect for each other, uh, regardless of whatever way our journey takes us. Sharon, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure. Um, and, and I will chat to you again soon. Um, no problem. If you want to contact Sharon, obviously, you know, living uniquely you with Sharon. If you want to ca connect with me, Marie.time to sparkle and shine. Um, Amazing women connecting is just, it just lifts your world up. So it does. And um, thanks, Sharon. Um, and I will talk thank to you, you again soon. Hope yeah. love. Bye, you, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, bye.